Well, I spent the morning with these guys, a great group of kids. They've been working hard all season long, balancing all their responsibilities at home and at school with everything they have to do to stay on the team. They've done well this year and earned every bit of their success. The only problem is they did so well their budget this year couldn't quite keep up. It's fun to shoot the puck and score. It gets your adrenaline going a lot. 15-year-old Casey Nowak has been playing hockey since he was four. It's a different sport than all the others. It's a lot faster, and you make lots of good friends with it. Like most of his fellow junior chiefs, this isn't just an after-school activity. It's a lifestyle. Without my parents, I wouldn't be able to do this because they put in a lot of time every day we drive up here from the valley. It's time away, travel to Canada, a lot of road miles, getting your homework done. Head coach Steve Catola is proud of his guys. A lot of them will go on to play professionally. Some may even take the ice right here in Spokane for the real Chiefs. Along with the skills they need to play at that level, Catola's coaching philosophy centers around respect. That shows in their game too. Respect their, respect their teammates, respect the game, respect their parents. Everything else works out for itself. It sure has. The Junior Chiefs will play in the USA Hockey National Championships in North Carolina. It's super exciting because we've been working our whole year. Like four days a week we have practice and off-ice training. And then on the weekends we have games. And when we go to nationals we will be playing against like the best teams in the nation. But shipping 18 minors across the country is no small feat. Coach Catola says a conservative estimate for the team's travel cost is around $20,000. So far, they have a good start on raising some of that money. The community stepped up really good. The businesses are really good. The hockey community, all the way down from the old timers group or 60, 70 year old guys, all the way down to our might players have donated money through their different organizations. It's wonderful. The team set up a GoFundMe page to cover the cost, and several more businesses are stepping up to help out. David's Pizza is donating a portion of their profits today to the Junior Chiefs. You still have some time tonight to head to David's Pizza and help out a portion of their proceeds going to the team and their efforts to get to North Carolina. And of course, you can donate online through their GoFundMe page. I'm Casey Lund for KXLY 4 News.